Hello everyone, welcome back to Explore Electronics. In this video, let's see solution of four variable K maps, how to choose essential prime implicants if you have multiple prime implicants in a groups. So in a four variable K maps, as I said in the previous video, we will be having four variables like f of a comma b comma c comma d here. So we will be having two power four input combinations. So we say 16 combination of main terms will be there. And since a, b, c, d are the inputs here, I am going to take a, b vertically here and c, b horizontally like this. And we are going to code these four variable k maps in this way. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 here and 1, 1 here. Carefully look at this. And similarly for this also. Now the cell values becomes 0, 1, 3, 2, 4, 5, 7 and then 6. You can see here 8, 9, 10, 11 where it comes and 12, 13, 14, 15. The reason of taking in this way 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1 first and then 1, 0 explained in the previous video. You can visit that video and get to know the reason. So let us get into the example. Here I will be having this example f of a comma b comma c comma d is equal to summation of these values. It means they are given the mean terms. So the mean terms are represented with a summation like this. And now for the k map we need to take a b means these two variables here and c d these two variables here. So this is how we need to take the four variables in the four variable k map. Now I am going to just write the cell numbers like this and looking at the example we need to fill one value whichever the number is there in the question. So 0 is 1, cell number 1 is also 1, they have given 4 and then 5, 6 and 7, 14 and 15. Remaining cells are need to be filled with zeros. Now we need to start grouping here. Before start grouping we need to look for any 4 adjacent cells having 1s. So here we will be having 4 cells with 1s adjacent cells. Here we will be getting one more group with 4 adjacent cells having 1s. So we get a 4 variable or 4 cell group like this. Now we can have a one more group like this also. But there is no use of creating one more like this. But still we can create that but while taking we need to consider only the essential prime implicants this becomes just a prime implicant. Why because this 5 and 7 you can see here this cell number 5 and 7 already covered in a 4 cell group. So no need to create one more group here. No one is left out after creating these two groups. So we can start writing the group values. So for this green group as we know if you look at the values here it is A is 0 here also 0 B is changing from 0 to 1 we can neglect B and we can write it as A for this. Similarly here C is 0 here also C is 0 it becomes C bar here also it is A bar and D is 0 here changing to 1 so we can neglect that D. So it becomes A bar C bar for this group. So this group is now A bar C bar. Now this blue group giving the values like here you can see C is 1 1 so I am going to take C and D can be neglected it is changing. Similarly here vertical variables 0 to 1 A is changing we can neglect that 1 and 1 so it is B. So this group gives B and C and we can neglect this group even if you do this group you are going to get A bar B and that becomes a prime implicant so we can neglect that. So now the expression final expression will be A bar C bar from this group plus B C from this group this will be the final expression. Let us take one more example. Here we will be having different values you can see after the summation. Let me fill out those values in the cells. So 0, 2, 5, 7, 8, 10, 13, 15. Now remaining cells will be filled with 0. Now how to group this? Here in the center we will be having 4 cells with 1 value. Means we can create a group here. So let me create that group first. Now all the corners will be having 1. 
do we have adjacent value for this one yes we have so for this one for this one we can select this as a adjacent value similarly for this one again this becomes the adjacent value for this one this becomes the adjacent value now we can create a four cell group here also by considering these four like this so if we have one value at the corners we can consider them as a adjacent cell values so now we need to write the expression for this green cell what will be the expression we are going to get see here we will be having 0 to 1 change with a we can neglect this 1 1 will be having so it is b similarly here what horizontally we will be having c as 0 it is changing to 1 we can neglect this c and d value will be 1 1 so we are going to get b so b and d b into d will be the expression for this cell now for the corner group 1 1 1 1 we have grouped with the blue mark here for this we need to carefully consider here so this group is again will be uh, consisting of this value this value vertically and this value and this value horizontally right so vertically if you consider a b a is changing from 1 to sorry 0 to 1 we can neglect this b is 0 only so it is b bar so we are going to get b bar from vertical so horizontally we are going to get c is changing from 0 to 1 we can neglect that d will be having 0 0 that is d bar so this will be giving b bar d bar here we have b d and here we have b bar d bar so the expression is b d plus b bar d bar this is how we can group these corner values corner cell values this representing an x nor gate here i have one more example again a b c d with these values let me put ones and zeros for these cells 1 2 4 5 6 12 13 14 and 15 now how to group these first identify the four cells with adjacent ones this is one group again here you can see these two are adjacent ones but here we will be having one one so we can group a four cell group here also we can create it and now this one is left out this is not with any group so we need to take this one into consideration this is again one group here we will be having two ones these two are adjacent so we can create one more group here now for this write the individual group expressions and i am giving you the final expression it is a b from the green group b c bar from the blue group like this and this orange one gives a bar c bar d and this purple group gives a bar c d bar this is how we can solve four variable k maps by grouping in this way so don't forget the previous example where corner if you are going to get one we can group those four as a four cell group thank you